All right, so now we're going to look at the application of the adaptive component and the um, incremental division. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is kind of show you what the adaptive component is. So if I open up this guy, you will see, if I go to shaded, probably a little easier to see, there's just a surface that's been um, swept between change this guy, two lines that are hosted on points. So you'll see there's a line here, there's a line here, and they're hosted on these points that um, have, if I go to the properties, they have a rotation parameter put on them, and that rotation parameter is angle, and the line length is being controlled by line length. All right, so those, that's what we have, and they're all set to instance parameters so they can vary. Okay, so I'm just going to close that guy. And it's been loaded into this project, so I have access to it here. You'll see it right there. Okay, and so that means Dynamo can see it and select it. So it's selected that guy. And then I'm just going to come over here and select my lines like we did last time. And I'm going to kind of zoom in here and make sure I disconnected my structural framing so it doesn't show up. Um, so I've selected my lines and what's going to happen is it's going to divide those lines into different points. It's going to take, in this case we're taking those points and we're creating a list with item 1 and item, item 0 and item 1 that creates a list that's then fed into the points for placement for the adaptive components. There's the family type that we picked. Um, and then there's a couple of things that are being set by the increment. So for example, we have the line length and that one is remapping um, the numbers. So we would remap those numbers, plug those into there, right? And it's going to remap that range right there in between 1 and 0 0.07, which is looking at feet. And then we also have over here we have the angle is being set by a remap between 0 and 90 right here right um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and and run this and see if it'll shoot that thing out there so if I hit run thanks for a minute and then if I go into my 3d view you will see that we have the incremental change in length, the incremental change in angle, and the incremental change in spacing, right? So for example, if I came in and let's just change this from the angle to 180, right, and rerun it, then it should just, oop. Oh, sorry. That should still say angle, and this should be 180. And let's run that. And then that should, oh, that flattened them out. So let's try 90 on this one and run it. Doink. So there they are all straight, and you can see just the increment in the spacing and the increment in the height. So you can use this little definition to control sort of whatever instance parameter you want on. Um, various different objects like structural framing and adaptive components. Um, I think that's it for now. Um, I'll go ahead and put this definition up um, and probably put a link on the playlist um, if anybody wants to use it. And just fair warning, I'm not a Python coder, so I'm sure there's a better way to do this, a cleaner way. But um, that's it. All right.